Welcome back everyone. This is Computer Science 0478 IGCSE explained by Mr. Ashraf. In this session here we're going to talk about number systems and specifically the use of hexadecimal system which, which is topic 113. In this video here we're going to explain the use of hexadecimal system which could be one of these four. Error codes, MAC addresses, IP version 6 addresses, HTML color. Before we start, let's have a look at these binary digits. As you can see here on the screen, we have 16 binary digits. These 16 binary digits could be represented by only four hexadecimal values. You know from before that the hexadecimal values are ranging from 0 till 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, then up to 9. After 9, we have the letters A, which is representing 10, B, which is 11, C, which is 12, D is 13, E represents 14, and then F, which is the last digit here in hexadecimal number system, which is representing 15. As you can see here on the screen, four digits of binary code is represented by only one hexadecimal digit, which is easier to uh, for humans to understand than binary as it is shorter representation of the binary code. Which one is easier? Definitely the last one, which has only four hexadecimal digits. Now, let's look back at the use of hexadecimal system, error codes, MAC addresses, IP version 6, HTML color codes. Let's start with the first one, error codes. We know sometimes when you are using computers, error messages like this one might appear for you. As you can see here, this error message, program critical error, some programs might cause an error in memory, and it, this is represented, as you can see here, by hexadecimal values, 2.5, C2, E4, 2B. Reference it also in memory as in hexadecimal values. Imagine that if this value here, this number, is represented by a binary number, so this will take longer space, and it will be very hard to humans to understand and read. Error codes, these numbers refer to the memory location of the error, are usually automatically generated by the computer or the operating system. MAC addresses here also is uh, which is known as media access control. Media access control or MAC addresses refers to the number which uniquely identifies a device on a network. The MAC address refers to the network interface card, NIC, which is part of the device. Every computer, every smartphone connected to a network must have a network card, network interface card. In desktop computers, the card looks like this one. Definitely inside the laptop or smaller devices, the NIC card is much smaller than this one. As you can hear, you have Ethernet port where you connect the network cable. The NAC address is usually made up of 48 bits, which are shown as six groups of two hexadecimal digits. So you have six groups here. Every group contains two hexadecimal digits. This is just representing uh, uh, hexadecimal uh, grouping. Six groups, as you can see here. Each group consists of two hexadecimal digits. The first three groups here, n, 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 is to identify the number of manufacturer of the device. This device is made by a specific manufacturer, and every manufacturer has its own unique uh, manufacturer number. And then the second group, the second three groups here, is a serial number of the device. Each device has uh, a manufacturer ID and then a serial number specifically for this device. For example, Dell Computers, Dell Company, has the hexadecimal values as 0, 0, 1, 4, 2, 2. Cisco Computers, Cisco Devices also have the value of hexadecimal 0, 0, 4, 0, 9, 6. 
The third application or the third use of hexadecimal number system is IP addresses or Internet Protocol. Each device connected to a network is given an address known as IP address or Internet Protocol. Any device connected to the Internet or the network has an IP address. The IP version 4 address is a 32-bit number written in a denary hexa or hexadecimal form. A denary form, 32 bits here, so every group is representing 8 bits. 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, in total they are 32 bits. The recent and more advanced an IP version 6 address is more, has more number of bits, 128 bits. Would be broken into 16-bit chunks represented by a hexadecimal number, for example, this value here. Every chunk here is representing 16 bits. Since they are four hexadecimal digits, and every hexadecimal digit is representing four bits, so in total every chunk here is representing 16 bits. Imagine if we wrote this in a hex in a binary value, this will take 16 bits. So 16 bits and then 16, 16, 16. 16 bits and so on. So rather than these uh, short uh, hexadecimal values, it will be very long up to 128 bits. Note that IP version 6 uses a column here instead of the dot in the IP version 4. This one is much recent uh, than the IP version 4. The last application, last use here of, HTML, of uh, hexadecimal uh, number system is the HTML color code, hypertext markup language, used when writing and developing web pages. HTML isn't a programming language, but is simply a markup language. When you have uh, a website, this website might have some, like for example, picture, a table here, I might have some text, so marking up the spaces on the uh, on the web page is known as marking up. HTML uses which are used in to bracket to bracket a piece of text, for example h1, and then close the bracket with h1. These are known as tags. Instead of representing the colors in a long binary binary numbers. They can be represented in an easy way using hexadecimal digits, as follows. So you have three groups here. Every group is representing one color, red, then green, then blue. So the first group here, FF, is representing red. The second group is representing green, and then blue. When they have the value of zero, that means no green color, no blue color, and only we have a value of FF which is a red color. The green color could be represented as 00, zero FF00. Zero, zero. The blue color could be represented as hexadecimal values of 00, zero, zero, zero and FF. Don't forget to start the representation here by a hash sign. Imagine that if we, uh, if we want to represent these six uh, hexadecimal values, this will take a longer space much than this one. To sum up the uses of hexadecimal number system, we have four uses, error codes, MAC addresses, IPv6 addresses, and HTML color codes.